Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about bookmarks in Power BI. Before going into how this bookmark works in Power BI, let's first understand what these bookmarks are and why are these used. So uh, when you are trying to look up any website and you had to go out for, for some reason, you want to make sure you save what you're doing. So in that case, you bookmark that website so that you can come back and revisit that website. In the same way, using the bookmarks in Power BI, we are trying to go back to a certain point in time. Okay. So um, when you want to save certain filters in your report and you want to save the sort order, you, you want to save the slicers that you have selected and you want to uh, save how the visualization is looking at that point, save all these. You can save the filters, you can save the, um, sa you can save the slicers, you can save the sort order, you can save the visualizations. You can do all these and create a bookmark. When you create this bookmarks, all the filters that you selected, all the slicers you selected, all the sort orders that are there at that point of time, all these remain intact, okay? And you create a button there and um, someone changes the filters, someone changes the uh, slicers you selected, the sort order is not right, or they change the uh, data uh, in the visualization, whatever it is. And when you just click on that button, uh, which is tied to that bookmark, you can go back to the exact report when you created that bookmark. The filters will be back. The filters that you selected while creating the bookmark will be back. The slices, uh, the slicers data that you selected will be back. The visualization will be intact. Order and the sort order will be back to normal uh, uh, the way you created while creating the uh, bookmark. So, so if someone asks me to define bookmarks in Power BI in just one line, what I'll say is bookmarks are used to go back in time where we, where we save the report and when others view your report, they get back to the exact state how you save the report while creating the bookmark. That is what bookmarks are used for. If you look at my screen here, this is a, a COVID-19 report which we have been working on of late. Um, so in this report, I want to create a, a bookmark where I can go back to a, a go back to certain dates. Okay. Right now, if you see my uh, dates are selected from 122-2020 until 49-2020. So I want to change this. Okay. I want to change this to 122-2020-98-2020. So I want to, um, so I want to create a bookmark where these date ranges are selected. So um, what I do is I just select these two dates and I add a bookmark here. So if you don't find the bookmarks on the right side, what you can do is you can go, you can go to this view, uh, you can go to this view tab on the top and here uh, you can find bookmarks. You click on the bookmarks and uh, this pane gets opened. Okay. So now um, I select the dates. I select the date range here. Let me change this. Let me, I change the date. Uh, to 10 26 2020 okay so i selected these dates and now i'm creating one bookmark to create the bookmark i just add the bookmark here and just for readability purpose i'm renaming this um, date filter reset okay so i created the bookmark now so after creating the bookmark what i do is I create one button okay so to create that button I go to the let's say let's say go to this buttons here I bought this button here uh, so there's a button text option here button text you can give the text you can give the text for this button I'm saying it is reset um, dates reset dates okay 
and you can change the font of it to make it as 20 okay okay so uh, so now i created this button and now to use now i need to make sure this button uses the bookmark i created and for that i need to go to the action here I need to turn on the action for this okay after turning it on the type of the action would be bookmark okay so uh, so you selected the type as bookmark and now you need to select the bookmark name okay we created the bookmark name as date filter reset so now you selected the bookmark name and then you save it and you're all set now let's test our report if this bookmark is working or not now um, I'm changing the date range okay so all my visuals got changed based on the uh, dates I selected and now I want to reset the dates I want to go back uh, to those dates when I created the bookmark so I click on this button you need to actually control click it okay control click just control clicked on it and you see the dates have changed the date range has changed 122 to 1026 so that's how you create bookmarks in power bi i hope now you know how to create bookmarks in power bi if you like this video and if you find it helpful please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you